like him sleeping on the floor, another body on a corner sleeping on the floor, another body like sleeping in the yeah. middle, like in, yeah. in the couch. One time I was sleeping on top of a washing machine in a dryer, bro. Like it was that it's pack that in it. This uh, probably like the first time that we're telling people our, our story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We never told people, hey, we was homeless. <laughs> like you, you run this shit up with me, bro. We're making a million together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And then I dropped the Corvette. And like a few months, few months later, I dropped yeah. a Corvette. I said, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call ourselves City, but we global. The hottest podcast in the city. We're back, man. Back again, 2023. Myself, Steve, aka the Lux Vlog. Frank Adele, like everybody in the building, we got we got special group, man. We got special friends in the building, man. Since last podcast, 2021, 2020, 2021, August 2021. Around now. It was a I kind of want to run that podcast back, like right here after I just said that so people could see the <laughs> distinction. Hell yeah. Um, would you suck dick to save your mama life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have that question going around. And that... That just that that just completely blew up. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. So, um, yeah, man. EJ the goat. Yes, sir. And Lyman, man. All right. You wanna go first? I'll go first. Go and last time I was on the podcast, um, it was more on the uh, entertainment side too. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was. Business. It was by your YouTube. Um, my YouTube and um, how I, I had a, a popping YouTube channel, but now like um, things just been excelling in a different level. Um, we're doing different things now, not only on the entertainment side, but the business side too. Mm -hmm. So um, if y'all did not watch that podcast and y'all want to know more about that, go ahead and tune into that before you even watch this one to get caught up with this one right here, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. That's a must. Mm -hmm. It's a it's, must. It's a must because we came a long, long way. It's only been two years, but it's like I, I felt like we quantum leaped yeah. into this level right now. So... Um, if you guys don't know me yet, my name is Lyman Fontanelia. Um, a lot of people call me by Yang. Um, if you guys don't know, my Instagram is at Poppy Yang with three eyes. Just go ahead and follow me. Um, I am very, very grateful to be on this podcast yeah, right now, yeah. speaking to you guys. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for having us. No cap. Um, um, if you guys don't know, we actually know Lux. He was trading with us back then, back in the day and stuff. So we have a long history within, um, in this podcast itself. Um, but, you know, we're all from Palm Beach here, and we really just want to speak to the youth. Um, because, you know, as you guys may not know, I am only 20 years old, turning 21 next month. Um you're only 20 years old. Yeah, I'm only 20 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm calling Cap. Man. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Bro, there's no nah, nah, nah. way. Uh, yeah. There's no way. He, he just turned 21 like December. I, I'm turning 21 there's next no way. month. Not for real, for him, 2002. Uh, yeah. Literally, Dang. I think when I met you, you were about to be turned 19 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were still 18. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Hats, <laughs> hats off. Bro, it makes, it makes what you guys are doing so much more special. Because mm. I'm thinking 23, 24 ranch. Nah. Easy. Nah, um, I wish, like, yeah. I, I actually cannot wait until that age hit because I know we're damn near stepping in our primes. We're not in yeah. our primes yet. No, I know. Of all. course, you're 20, you're 20, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're nowhere near it. That's wow. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you, you're LeBron first year. Y'all LeBron first first year, man. But, you know, they, these guys are humble. Um, and, you know, they obviously introduce themselves in the most humble way. But, um. You guys always been doing great things. From EJ, I know the accomplishments you've had with YouTube. Hell yeah. And um, Lyman, you've, you know, now you, I, it's, I can see you're very successful at what you've, you've been doing, but mm -hmm. you've obviously been a leader in that realm and, and, mm -hmm. and helping people out. Mm -hmm. And it seems, what I love about you guys, it seems that um, you're also working within the purpose of helping everyone else too. Right. Because you've, yeah. you've grown up an entire brand Mm -hmm. Where you teaching people different financial skills? It, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep it. That's why I had to fill off with like the entertainment side a little more though, cause it was like, damn, now I'm becoming part of the problem, becoming a distraction yeah. to like the youth around me. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, somebody can make you laugh, forget about like, all right, what you got going on for the moment. But when somebody really helped you make money, you you remember that for life. So mm -hmm. people be like, damn, why you don't do YouTube no more? Like, why you not so big on it? It's like the plans I have for YouTube. They could really wait, cause once I get myself really settled on everything we got going on, YouTube just gonna flourish, you right. know. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why I, I fell more into the uh, business side because of entrepreneurship. How you could change somebody's uh, um, lifestyle, you could change your 
their way of thinking yeah. and, and how they really just like perceive the world too. Finance is important. Hell uh, yeah. Um, some, you know, people like to ignore it like it's not and say life is not about mm -hmm. money. And it's not about um, progressing financially. But in order to, when, when you become an adult, I, I think 80% of your problems will be financially related. Oh, yeah. yeah, for you sure. Know? So it's an important aspect. What I want to do to start the interview off, I know we had EJ in last time and we really caught up with your story. We didn't really get a touch on on, on, on Lyman, man. Yes, we sir. didn't get to touch on yes, Pappy sir. Yang. Yes, so I want I want to help introduce you to your, you know, to your following, to our following. And um and really because the story is what makes it special. Mm. Right. So oh, how how was yeah, how was yeah. like you 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 originally um you're an immigrant originally, right? Yeah, I'm an immigrant, yeah. So um Kind of what was what was the process like coming to America, um, and pursuing this dream that you have now? Was it always a dream? And you know how you get how'd you get here? Got you. So um, my it, it, it all starts with my pops. You know what I'm saying? You know, salute to pops. Pops, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You did everything that you're seeing now um, is your dreams, and you know I'm here to carry on the legacy. I just want to let you know. But. Um, how I basically got here, he basically got here in 2005. Uh, my dad started working here in 2005. Um, he was working here for like eight years until he became a citizen because it takes eight years to become a citizen in the U.S. Right. So once he became a citizen, as soon as that happened, he started bringing, he started, you know, bringing us, um, working on the visa. Um, and so I got here uh, 2012. So I got here when I was 10 years old. Um, so, you know, in the Philippines, the education was, you know, we, we learned how to speak English over there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like a multi, uh, it's, it's a, bi it's a bilingual country. Right. So I came here, um, I know how to read, but you know, I was a shy kid. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really know what's going on. The culture is very different. Um, people was more inside rather than going outside, hanging out with your, your friends outside. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I came here. Uh, when I was 10, didn't really know what's going on. So I just came to school and I learned. So now when it comes to the vision of things, like with my development, my brain development, when I was a kid on like what I see, um, you know, as an immigrant, like you see your, I saw my dad as my hero. You right. know what I'm saying? He was my hero when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't, he, he wasn't there physically, you know what I'm saying? I, he wasn't there physically for me um, when I was in the Philippines because I was just living with my aunties, my mom. Um, when he was working, you know, I was just talking to him on Skype. You know what I'm saying? He was teaching me, you know, how to be a man, how to be this, that, and the third on Skype. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I always saw him as a hero. I always looked up to him. So, you know, he bas he definitely implanted that standard to, all right, bet, like, if you when you come here, and you turn 18, like, you need to be serious about life. Yeah. So I always look at the bigger things. And um, I feel like what catapulted my belief was, you know, when I saw my dad driving nice cars, like, he's get, he, you know, he's successful in his own space because he's a sushi chef. So he was driving nice cars. He had the Benz. He had the, uh, you know, yeah. he was driving the, the Cobra, That's things dope. like that. That's so, dope. like, yeah. so when I saw that, I was like, yo, I need to top this man. Like, I need yeah. to top him. Like, it's just only right if I need it, if I, if I top him. So, um, that's how, that's just how I saw it. Um, that's how my belief when it comes to, you know, like going hard, making money, uh, really just like, okay, seeking that opportunity. And when that opportunity knocks, I'm going to take it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically like how it is, like how I got started when I was young, when yeah. it comes to the mindset. So your things. pops gave you that that edge to to go get it, just yeah. seeing him kind of yeah, like when flourish I, yeah. in his own leg. Like um, the thing is, uh, my relationship with my dad isn't as great as I speak in it. I only observed. Right. Like um, when I came here, it was not more of like, hey, you know, we was not on really on talking, talking things like that. I don't know. It's, it's some weird yeah. uh, relationship. But, you know, when you just observe and see how hard he works, how, how much he provides, how much he, how much uh, things he sacrifices for the sake of the family is just, you know, really inspiring as a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because as a man, you know, your purpose is to provide, right. to protect. And that's what I was things. thinking. You got to see a man 
be a man mm. and, and act in that role accordingly. Yeah. And um, I think a, a lot of the times, you know, most of the time as men, it's not about what we say. I think mm. for mothers, it's more about what they say, how they uh, cuddle yeah. you. Mm. And, but at, for, at, for men, it's, just it's about what, what you do. You. And, yeah, yeah, it's just you got to lead by example. And me just seeing that, bro, it's just like, wow. Like, yeah. it was amazing. For sure, for sure. That's dope. That's dope. So uh, 20, 2012, that's not too long ago. Not too long and, ago. And you went through school here in, in Palm mm -hmm. Beach. You, mm -hmm. This is where you came first? Yeah, bro. I love Palm Beach. This is like, I, this is my city. I have a, We have unfinished business in Palm Beach. Yeah. So that's why, I, that's why I don't want to leave it yet. Yeah, did you guys go to the same school? Yeah, I actually met in EJ in middle school. Middle school in Congress yeah. High, uh, Congress, Congress, I middle Congress Middle School. Um, I met him when I was a seventh grader. We were just talking about some Call of Duty stuff, yeah. you know, the trick shot back then. <laughs> like, <laughs> quick scope it. Like, yeah, like, yeah that's you know, how he was one of those. And they yeah. went to the same uh, high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's how we just started kicking it. You know, it wasn't as close as we is now back yeah. then. You know, it was, we just like know more about each other. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. What is it for you guys like that make you guys kind of bond well and, and click? Uh, it was like, really um, when we got introduced into. Um, the trading space back in 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. You feel me? Like when we got introduced into uh, network marketing, it was only like a certain group of our friends that listen to like certain people. Yeah. But we was, we was two that just listened to each other and just knew how we could take it up top. So mm -hmm. yeah. that's what really just built that chemistry. Yeah. For real, for real. Just, you yeah. feel me? Being in the business, learning the style of trading, you know, why everybody quit, why everybody left, you feel me? We just stuck to it. Okay. Yeah. And, that's and, and, and was that specifically Forex at the time, or was it? Yeah, um, it's always been Forex. Yeah, it's always been, um, Forex, it's always been Forex. Network marketing and Forex, not just straight trading. Okay. You no know, network marketing, you know? Because, mm -hmm. you know, with network marketing, the reason why we was excelling in the company, like, we built two teams to 100 plus twice, but people just really wanted to learn how to trade. And, like, bro, it's like companies, too, they would make you depend on the company's products, not actually learn the skill set to become an independent trader. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So they could still pay that monthly fee, still depend on the company. But the sauce is that you could actually become an independent independent trader once you actually know what you're actually doing, mm -hmm. start up your own academy, do your own signals. That's what we teach now, T mm -hmm. teach people how to become independent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that was, like, the main goal. Um, honestly, like, when I came in the industry, so this is how I got started. Um, so... My story on it was, it was back in 2017, right? Back in 2017, it, I had I had my first job, um, and pretty much I worked at Ramen Lab already. Shout out to shout out to my my uh, ex boss over there. Like he he used to teach me so many things like about life. Yeah. He was like, yo, you have so many potentials. You have so much potential. I better not see you working a nine to five. Like he that's was crazy. He was that's that's something you get my, all the time. Yeah, he was just to be. My, my, my bad to cuff, cuff off your wisdom. I was just about to say, before you found trading, was it like something that you was like, you was going to do that's going to give you the lifestyle that you was dreaming of doing before like trading step into the... I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. So yeah, right, right. so he was just on my ass about like, yo, you have so much potential. Like you, you need to do something else other than just like a restaurant. Because like how I even got really passionate about restaurant and like food industry, because, you know, my mom's a server. And my dad was a sushi chef, and he was making six figures during that time. So, so I was like, okay, I'm going to just follow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But my bosses was just, like, on me. So uh, my first job, I met someone that was in IM Academy back in 2017. Okay. And he basically introduced me to it and planted that seed of Forex trading. I thought it was a, a scam back then when I was a sophomore and Everyone junior in high school. Everyone makes Forex a So yeah. and the thing is, I, I didn't have enough wisdom. I wasn't you know, worrying about money during that time. I was worrying about going to school, you know what I'm saying, having fun, things like that. But it was always in the back of my mind. Like, he showed me his screen. He was making 54 bucks in a while working, flexing it on Your me. Your manager like, at the time? No, no, not yeah, my manager, my co-worker. Your co-worker. My co-worker. Um, well, everybody know about that 50. Yeah, like, first it, yeah that. like, he was he was flexing it on me. I was like, yo, bro, I need you to tap in. It's 125 a month. Like, if... I ain't gonna lie, if there was no monthly back then, I would have took it. Yeah, I'm gonna be yeah, honest, like if it was a one-time yeah. fee, but I was not trying to pay no bills. Right. I was just trying to stack cheese, save up for a car, you know, regular high school things. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like during that time, it was always in the back of my head. You were like, okay, this man is making money. All right, forex, forex, forex. So I did a little bit of research on forex. I like it, and then back then in high school, 
it was boring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was boring. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just go back to school, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then pandemic hit. Um, EJ hit me up. You know, EJ hit me up about it. And he sent me this long paragraph for I don't know why. I don't know right. why he didn't just call me. I was supposed to be calling people. I'm sending them a whole paragraph. paragraph. Like he just sent me a paragraph. I was <laughs> like, I feel like being on the phone. He was like, yo, and in and, and a few words that I, I didn't read the whole paragraph. I only seen like a few words. Trading Forex Millionaire Mentorship. As soon as I saw those words, I was like, yo, let's hop on the phone right now. Send me the link. I'm in. Cause yeah. like I was like, yo, opportunity is knocking on my door. I already know about it. Like I like yes, the, and see the dude already yeah, spoke the to suitor, you about it. Yeah, so, the dude yeah. already spoke to me about it. So I was like, yo, it's about that time. That's, that this, seed was planted. Yeah, already. this yeah. probably is, is my calling. So I was like, I'm gonna just go for it. You know what I'm saying? So that boy, that boy quit the first three months, huh? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, so <laughs> let me let me get <laughs> like the reason why that happened though. Like the reason why that happened. First of all, um. So I joined in my last dollar. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of, like, the thing is, let me just give a little tip for the youth out there that's in our age. Um, if you have no kids, no wife, you have nothing to lose. Lose, yeah. You have nothing to lose. You have Man, everything to gain. You know what I'm saying? So you have to build that foundation and take advantage of that now. So now i joined my last dollar uh my mom owed me like 150 and i had like 150 bucks that left in my pocket so i was like hey um you know i'm about to i'm about to get rich and like, <laughs> 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 so that's, uh, that's a good like, sales pitch right there hey mom i'm about to get rich and i'm about to retire you in the next year <laughs> i told her that so this, was, like, this right, was when 2020? 2020 2020 i remember yeah. i remember the whole conversation like it was at night at, it was like at 8 9 p.m um they were running a zoom call about it so i joined and after the zoom call i asked my mom hey can you please give me the money you owe me like i really need it right now and then boom i got started my money came up short so i remember ej sent me like an extra 20 bucks to get actually started and then yeah, yeah. i asked my mom again for another 100 so i could put up a trading account so this is why i quit so <laughs> so the first trade right the first year i took you know, I made like eleven bucks. I yeah. was hype as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. damn! Yeah, yeah. I, was like, yeah, I was like, yo, hold Uh-oh. on. If I can make eleven bucks a day in a whole year, I'm good. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. So I seen that. I was like, yo, I've never seen money made like this quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, let's try it again. So if I can make eleven bucks, I'm gonna risk more. Yeah. So I risk more. <laughs> I risk more, bro. I risk well, more. Well, you get trigger happy now. You get trigger I get, happy. I risk more, bro. The next day and next thing you know, I blew the account back to zero. So like damn. now, I was like, damn, how the fuck? How, That's three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred dollars yeah. gone. So I was like, all right, bet. I only have thirty days. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for the monthly. I'm gonna just yeah. ghost them boys. Like I'm gonna just ghost them boys. Right. You and see, I, people was worried about that monthly fee. You know? yeah. I was worried about that exactly. monthly fee. Not really but learning, you feel yeah. me? But the thing is, I didn't give up on it though. Mm-hmm. You know what I did? I went on YouTube. I swear, I searched up Swag Academy. Shout out to Swag Academy. Shout out Swag. Back man. in 2020, he was popping, right? He was, he started, you know, teaching on YouTube. So I, when I left for three months, I was actually studying. So I came back knowing how to trade like okay. already yeah. so when he put me on like he was like yo and like three months after i quit he was like yo bro like you need to join fam i'm making two bands a month right now i seen them boys making 700 800 dollars a day I was like, bro two three months past i'm like damn people keep leaving bro so i was like all right let me learn how to use the products i'm talking about every night babe we up four five a.m London session, going to sleep on the Zoom call. Yeah, like we, a couple yeah, hundred. That, that was that 100, was two hundred. Yeah, that was the vibe though. Like um, in twenty twenty, we used to like just he used to just run Zoom calls, yeah. and then you know with everyone on the team, and then we used to go to sleep together, take a trade together, like while on Zoom. Like, yeah, you know it was a quarantine. No, no, no one can go outside like yeah. that. No, that that so, was the time to come up, man. Yeah, that was the time to come up. Your like, time, yeah. And, and 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 what made it feel better losing. Is losing with we're, people. We're, we're, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a fact. That's a fact. So I did not give a fuck about that money. Yeah, so I was like, get back tomorrow, <laughs> boys. Yeah. Oh, we get back. <laughs> 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 like I remember, I remember it was like, all right, we're 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 down uh, two fifty. 
um, <laughs> I'm gonna just go sleep on the uh, boys. <laughs> and then we actually woke up. We up like 300, 400. And I was like, that made it real for me. Yeah. So when I seen that and I withdrew from it, uh, from, you know, trading, um, that's when I really took it serious. Like that's when, you know, I started putting people on that uh, network marketing company because I believed in it so much. Um, uh, like that thing is multi-level marketing. I am grateful for that uh, opportunity because you know, I can never talk down on it, but it's always a negative about a business. Right, of course. So I'm always grateful for it because it, it taught me how to believe in myself, personal development. Um, it showed me you know, life experiences, just different life experiences. I talked to a lot of people. I got to network. Um, you know, I feel like if you're young and entrepreneur, getting into entrepreneurship space and you want to learn how to run an online business or a physical business and about closing deals, pitching, selling, anything like that, yo, you need to join a multi-level marketing yeah, company. Because yeah. we, we, we heard all of them speak, a lot of entrepreneurs, and they always say the same thing. It just starts with your mind. Like, right. Right, you, can, you take control of your thoughts. You start thinking positively. Like you writing your goals down. You're gonna just attract the entire your right. life. That's the universe we're in. You mm -hmm. know, like you see successful people all the time. You wonder how they get there. It's the same script every time. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. same, same but, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's how um, I got started with it, um, and I, I just took it serious from then. And you know, next thing you know, August, September of 2020, I started getting lucky with trades. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin, like, I, started like, getting, I know how you were smacking BTC like yeah, that, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, I was on FT. Like, it was an FTMO. Uh, I bought an FTMO account back in 2020. I don't, let me just explain what an FTMO yeah, is. FTMO is a prop firm that basically funds professional traders. Um, and pretty much, per se, you pass the... Like, there's two phases when you um, buy a prop firm account. And when you pass the two phases, they give you, like, a live 100,000, 50K account or more. Um, and whatever you make on top of that capital, you keep. You feel okay. me? So I started doing that. I started getting lucky, passed the phases. And then I got, like, my first big withdrawal. Like, but it was so lucky. I don't even know how I did it. And it was, like, 20 vans. Like, it was 20 vans. So what I did was, you know, I gave my mom 10 vans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I kept 10 for myself. And you know what I did? Put that in a trading account and blew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swear. I swear, bro. Like, I swear. Because the thing is, during that time, bro, like, during that time, we were, like, living together already. Like, yeah. during that time, in August of 2020, I got kicked out the crib. You feel me? Yeah, so I, I, I think I heard something about what it's multiple of you guys living in the same... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. What it's... happened was... We kept we had an office here, like around yeah, here. like around here. Yeah, it was. Okay. We kept on going to the office in quarantine. I ain't gonna lie, that boy, that boy, people was tripping though. Mm -hmm. You can't be going out. It's it's coronavirus. Okay, you can't yeah, be coming yeah. home this late. Then one day his parents just finally kick him out. So then I ain't tell my mom he was gonna start sleeping over. I just brought him in one night. And then I told her the next morning, you know how Zoe's <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know how to finesse around it. <laughs> you got to hey, do it bro. first. You got to do what you got to do. Well, do, what you gotta do. Yeah. I remember though, he was staying with us for two weeks, then went to this b, &B. My mom think after we went to the B&B event, he was not going to be at the crib no more. But then he came back. Oh, my God. She was like, there's no way. He's 18, his parents just kick him out the house, not letting him come back to the house. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to leave. Right. And I was like, I told my mom, we're working on the business right now. Like, we're really working. If, if you kick him out, I'm going to have to go too. That's a real one. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, a, a real, real one. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, real, she kicked both one. of us out. Yeah. I remember packing my stuff, she slammed the door behind me. It was Man. crazy. You know how those get. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That was like, was crazy, I feel like bro. that was one of the biggest decisions you made. I know it was crazy, fam. Because, like, I feel like if we didn't live together, fam, it would just, like. That shit was crazy, it, though. It, I, I feel like we would have not gotten this far if we didn't do it together. Yeah. That for shit sure. was crazy, for, for sure, bro. But even though after everything happened, you guys keep your head in your shoulder, you keep focusing, motion mm -hmm. on what you had to do. Mm -hmm. Like, like that's one thing. We never, ever let a situation yeah. um, get in our way. Like, you know what I'm saying? This situation is just a, t it's a temporary thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we have a rich mindset and we believe in ourselves. Like, coming into trading in a business and running a business at the same time, we were full of uncertainty. 
and all we really had was faith. You know what I'm and saying? Belief and belief, the, the power faith of belief, yeah. And belief. But the thing is, this again, there's two sides of success, the spiritual and the physical. You know what I'm saying? Faith without action is death. You know what I'm saying? So we just kept working. No matter what the problem is, no matter how broke we was, and the thing is, like when we were living together after we got kicked out of his crib, we stayed at a two bedroom and two bathroom apartment. Um, at first it was just five people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know how I got to twelve so quick. I do not know how he got. You guys to twelve? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I, I think I should send you guys a video on like him sleeping on the floor, another body on a corner sleeping on the floor, another body like sleeping in the yeah. middle, like in, yeah. in the couch. One time I was sleeping on top of a washing machine and a dryer, bro. Like it was that it's packed that in, sure, yeah. and. And this was, one was like really first starting off to network marketing, so mm -hmm. really everybody was really just getting their feet wet. So it's like mm -hmm. us like thinking we finna be in the crib, we finna really be working, but it was just like too much energy in there. Too much energy, yeah. a lot of shit going on. You mm -hmm. feel me? Some people on top of it, some people not on top of it. Yeah. You know, but oh, and oh. and these people are they. Uh, are they following the same kind of thing, or are they, are they into? Oh yeah, some of, some people we're still with good connects with right okay. now. You mm -hmm. know, some we we keep in contact. Um, we keep in contact with them. Some of them we don't really keep in contact with. Right. Yeah, know? and like you know, some of them we work. We like they're working with us now, like you know, trading. Um, you know, promoting marketing with us and stuff. Um, shout out to Tyreek, my brother. I love you. Um, thank you for taking me and EJ in that part uh, because yeah. like. It's one crazy story, right? When we were living in an apartment, um, people was not paying bills. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people was not keeping up with the bills. We were just living there, yada, yada, yada. So we got evicted, like, evicted after, like, an event. But before that, we experienced, like, one of, I feel like that's probably, like, one of the lowest points that I've experienced in a physical realm. Um, it was, like, five days, no water. No, you know, like the no electricity, electricity. Like, cut what off, happened was, no I think, AC. what was is like the AC blew because I think like the heat and or cold or something it blew the AC. So mm -hmm. then the electricity blew. Yeah. So it was like five days straight, no like, no like, nothing. No, like, no, no had, lights, like, no, bro, yeah. Like it was crazy because we had literally to get water, we had to melt ice. It was again. We I, had to melt I, yeah. the ice. Like like we uh, buying yeah. our ice, chewing our ice. Like it was crazy. Exactly thing is, crazy. we we're still launching the business. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Like, hey, and you have to good. you have to keep that belief. <laughs> yeah, we had, we just had to. I was like, yeah. I was like, bro, I can never be in a situation ever again. Bro, like, well, that was this. That was like my first. That was that night, dude. That was that night. And, and what about uh, that presentation of, you know, now you marketing a business out to to a group of people or to everyone? You have to like, keep up with that presentation. It was that like, you guys yeah, are like we could well. not let our team know what the hell was really going right, exactly. on. Like, now we like this. This uh, probably like the first time that we're telling people our, our story. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We never told people, hey, we was homeless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we yeah. were yeah. running the business. They didn't really. Yeah, they thought everything was good. Yeah, exactly. Was running smooth. Exactly. No, right. yeah. you, like, you feel me? So and like how we got to like business events you know one of our friends got like a honda accord and one shit. person had one, one way because one of our the other person whip it had got messed up while we was driving to an event mm -hmm. so then his car blew out so one person had one whip we ate deep like lapping up lapping and, up and going one, to honda accord. <laughs> one honda accord like bro lapping up yeah i'm telling you it's not no girls sometimes no girls it straight. was straight men it was <laughs> <Yeah>. straight men <laughs> we going to events hungry sometimes we even eat it yeah. was just like okay, we pull up still clean, like suits, like oh, of you course, know, we was yeah. looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was walking in the events, like, and you know, we just wanted the ministry for like we just wanted to we just all like, all we really wanted during that time was find the right information. Hell yeah! Because one information can change your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like. That's what we were looking for. It doesn't matter how we get there. It doesn't matter, bro. Like no matter how broke you was, it's just. It was just a time, bro. Yeah. It was it was his experience. Hey, but it, it makes it so much better, man. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like it, it's, you know. You have to go through those kind of times, mm -hmm. you know. Hell yeah! I feel like that's interestingly what interestingly enough. I feel like that's what uh, makes success feel so much so, better. Yeah, that's what really makes entrepreneurship, because then you get to the point when you then start making money, and you realize like if you want a lot of more money, you got to deal with the problems that come with the money now. 
So yeah. it's like, you, you feel me? There's problems both sides about it, though. But it's more beautiful when you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's too crowded down there's, there's, no, there's no joy without pain, man. Yeah, it's man. like, facts. No, just yeah. what like Drake said, bring on the problems. More money, more problems. Yeah. You feel me? So how did you guys come up with the name um, of your business? Oh, okay. he started with Sniper Gang. I, okay, so this yeah. is, my story is. is I think that, I saw it when he was Sniper Gang. Yeah, you saw. It I, was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, when we was on the last podcast, it was Sniper. Yeah, it was Sniper. Yeah, 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 Sniper yeah, Gang. yeah. yeah, yeah that, that was long ago. <laughs> okay, so I actually got a story on that. So um, after we got out of network marketing in 2021, um, the beginning of 2021, um, I basically like, you know, I was already up. Like I was a five figure trader, going into six. So, and I already knew, you know, um, the, the strategy I trade called Smart Money Concepts, and I was very good at it. You know, it was very great. I was very consistent and profitable. So, pretty much, I was like, okay, I got an idea, you know, for another source of income. So, because at that time, <clears throat> I was still not back home. I was still kicked out. I was still not talking to my parents. So, I had to like, okay, right after we got evicted, you know what I'm saying, I'm still homeless. So, you I guys couldn't. get evicted. The, the the Boca crib. Okay. Uh, so after the vic uh, eviction, he came back to his parents' crib. You know, I was still out, like homeless and stuff. So you know, I had to make some phone calls. You know, stay at a room. You know, I could pay you. Yada yada yada. Sometimes I was staying at hotels, yeah. things like that. Um, the thing is, like, yeah, I was making money, but I couldn't really use that money towards an apartment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I I wasn't stable at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't at all. Um, I didn't have my credit. Um, I didn't have any, like, bank statements. You know, everything yeah. was, yeah. you know, cash app. Like, it, you yeah. know, it wasn't, yeah. it was, the money wasn't solidified yet, yeah. so I couldn't really, like, do anything with it. So I was like, you know what? Um, to make another source of income to, like, solidify some of this, let me just open up a business, right? Um, so I did an online course, <coughs> sending signals, teaching people how to trade for three months, right? Three months in 2021, um, I did that for three months, you know, made good money, cool. And then I got back into, we got back into network marketing. I don't know why. I don't know yeah. why. I don't, I don't know, know why, but I was like, you know, they they, they got us, they got this us is again. The time, like, they got us again. I ain't gonna lie, I was not really like, I was so dependent on like company products. I didn't really want to learn chart work for real, so. Yeah, you so feel me? yeah, so like I was not really on like what he was on when yeah. it came to the trading. Like mm -hmm. I seen him making some bread, like when I'm at like I, I went back to doing like a couple of same old shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I was not really with it yet. So, you know, he my brother, so I had to like prove it to him a little bit. Like I had to show him like I gotta like, you know, separate a little bit, get my shit together, and then I'm gonna drop some and I'm gonna get to that. Yeah. So we got back to it, boom, and then the business failed again. You know, we did good, you know, like I started we brought in another set of 150 plus people and then it failed. Um, and then, you know, I opened up my business again. Right. So, you know, a lot of people was asking me, Hey, bro, I miss your mentorship. I miss your signals. Like you were doing really good. Like you was about to blow up. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me try this again. Right. Second time I tried it again, opened up Sniper King Academy. Boom. But I did it on telegram. So on telegram, I started a free signals chat, boom, boom, boom. And I started sending signals, you know what I'm saying? I made my course, I started sending signals. And the first three months, right? No, 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 the first two months, we did not lose a single trade that I sent out. Everybody was making money. So what that did was a lot of people was joining. It, it went from a one person to 500 person in three months when it comes to like the free signals and then the next four or five months in SGA. And when did you have a monthly subscription for that? Oh no, I was charging people a one-time fee. You know, I didn't really know how to do a monthly, I, you know, like, yeah. I wasn't really educated on yeah. the tech things yet. So yeah. I was just charging people a one-time fee. So I included the signals and the course and then the community chat. Mm -hmm. So the, that's what created the, the community. Um, and that's how I built my platform because I had a community chat. People was talking, people was networking and people was, you know, getting results. Um, and that, I feel like that built the momentum for my brand in a sense, um, because of my students, you know, I will, you know, shout out to my students. I love y'all. 
yeah, yeah. yeah, so many of y'all is doing so great in life right now. Um, but yeah, so my mentorship grew from like 30 to 250 in like four months. And I was like, how is this happening? Like I, yeah. mind you, I did not do any Instagram ads. Yeah, word of mouth. It was, it was word of mouth. The, it the was best. very organic. So yeah. I was like, yo, how? Like I need, so when I saw the growth, I was like, okay, let me just, just take out Sniper Gang because I know this is about to blow yeah. and change the name. I rebranded myself to Seven Sources Academy. So why well, even started with Seven Sources? Because, you know, like how they say, you, you're a millionaire, you, you got to have seven sources of income. Yeah. And I had a really, you know, we have a really, I had a really great idea on it. You know, like I want to have trading, credit, real estate, um, Amazon automation. We have trading automation now mm -hmm. um, where we help people make money. You know what I'm saying? So we got those things. And, you know, right now it's just everything is aligned and everything's even, playing. But, like, even when he rebranded, bro, our boys are still not with it, though. I was just watching. <laughs> you know you know, you know what? You know what, does, what does it take for EJ to be with it, man? Let me, let me, let me tell y'all real quick. Let me tell y'all real quick. So 2022 was, um, was one of my best years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When it comes to just building that foundation as a man, right? Mm -hmm. So that's when I turned 20 last year. You feel me? Yes, yes. So okay, really that cool. was my, like, okay, this this is, like, going to be the foundation for the next couple years. You know what I'm saying? So I got myself an apartment. Boom. Still didn't tap in. You know what's going <laughs> he, on. He gave me the course, too. I was not studying. I gave him, like I gave him the course for free. I, I was like, yo, fam, study this I'm my course I, I got you i promise you you study this with me like you, you run this shit up with me bro we're making a million together yeah. you know what i'm saying and then i dropped the corvette like a few months few months later i dropped a corvette i said god yeah. <laughs> Wait, <EJ. laughs> you, you start getting motivated now <laughs> so ej wasn't said, with you before the corvette no, we was no. like, I was, he was there. He was no, there. Was like, he wasn't like, yeah, you he wasn't, wasn't tapped in. I wasn't locked in. I wasn't yeah. trading. Like, yeah. I wasn't really taking trading seriously. I like, I knew I could like, he was making money and that. But I didn't really believe it like really for myself. But I said, damn, this nigga just dropped a Corvette. I'm going to see this man drop a Lamborghini. <laughs> and I'm still not with this shit. I better tie it up. After that, it was just game over. Yeah, so yeah. like after I dropped the Corvette, he started locking in. And then that's when we really like started working together again. Like, trust me, like every day we, we stay in contact, even though mm -hmm. he wasn't tapped in. Like, you know, we every day I text him, you know what I'm saying? See what's good. You know, he's still trading here and there, yada, yada, yada. But like, it just... I feel like to get to a certain level in life, you really have to tap the fuck in. Like you gotta lock gotta in. Lock in. You yeah, have to, because sure. like once you lock in, it just everything just falls in place. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to stay in your own lane and lock in, though, because it's like you could tell people could be like, "Damn, why you not at this spot? Why you not doing this and that?" But if you take those necessary steps, like even though you want you like somebody doing better than you, but if you take those calculated steps, you're gonna blow past. Anybody that's not really that got a plan that don't really got something going mm -hmm. on, because they're just living for that moment, though. You feel me? So yeah, definitely. You know, that's this this thing too. Like I feel like that's how we got into this position now, yeah. because of the certain uh, people that we talk to that we choose to listen yeah, to, yeah. And we position ourselves in the right place at the right time. Yeah. It was just everything is just calculated. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like when you make moves, it needs to be really calculated, not. You can't really like per se. You get into a business or a opportunity in a sense. You can't just look at the money. You gotta look at yeah. the pre the people that you can potentially do business with, mm -hmm. right? Because you can learn a lot of things for you know just investing um, in a product. Mm -hmm. Per se, I invest in Tesla and I meet Elon Musk. Like mm -hmm. that that's what it takes to talk yeah. to Elon Musk. You gotta. You know, get yeah. with his products. You feel me? And you can learn from him. Like you gotta learn from the best. So you gotta look at it in that aspect. All right. So how can I grow as a person if I tap in with this one? So it's just not. Sometimes it's not just about the money. Cause networking like, is about the connections. Yeah. It's all yeah. about the connection. Your network is your net worth. Net worth. Sure. So, but the thing is, you gotta put that network to work, though. No, you of course. Me? Yeah, you, you gotta, can't just have it sitting there. And yeah. you gotta attract that type of network, though, because if you're not really doing everything you're supposed to. You're not going to really attract the right persons in your life to really get to the next level. Right. And the best way to attract that kind of network 
is with information. Yeah, putting that energy yeah. out there into the universe. Yeah. Most deaf. As an effect. So so we know about we know about the the, the, the bottom, the struggle and you, you know, you guys talk about melting ice to <laughs> to drink water. I mean that's that's so crazy. That's insane. And you know, I like I've been, I've been in low places. Mm. I've been in a low place. I don't think I've been that low yet. And that's that's incredible. I and mean, you know, we've we come from, you know, we're, we're Haitian. We've yeah. been we've been pretty low. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like um that's awesome, bro. You that know what made us stay though in that apartment even though when shit was going left? Cuz I was like, damn, I, I left my mom crib. She you can't go. Say, yeah. She about to say, "Kiss something." Yeah. That's what I told you. So I'm like, Yo, I'm like hear that. I'm you got to stay out long enough so they I'm so they can up, start yeah. they can start feeling kind of bad. Mhm. Mm so you I was go like, back. Damn, bro. You know, we had to put, like, even though we had that ego still, though, like, we don't care if shit go left. Yeah. We cannot return back to our parents and yeah. say they're, to make sure, like, they say yeah. they're right. Yeah, no, yeah. the thing, I couldn't go back because I was talking so much shit. Talking yeah. too much. Too I was much. like, I'm not going to work no job again. And then I and I started working a job. Like, I can't <laughs> do that. I got to, like, <laughs> every year. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every year, my mom retired this year. I'm retired this year. Yeah, it's been, been like, three years. What's going on? <laughs> so, so that's the floor, man. <laughs> I was no like, God. hey, hey, hold on. That's that's the I floor. Couldn't go back. That's the floor. Mm. What's the ceiling? I mean, I know I, I see you guys are in the sky, so you got sky skydiving. But what's the ceiling as far as like now you you in a position that I don't know if you guys I mean I'm sure you guys saw yourself being in this position early, but it's still kind of surreal, I mm -hmm. suppose. So like with the, now what's your experience? Now, you know, wow. you guys aren't where you want to be yet. No, no, uh, no, no, but not even close. But not but close. now that you are kind of like really just uh, just just leaving the the work mm. that you put in. Um, what what are some of the experiences you guys had so so far? Where it's like, um, it's been a lot of traveling. Yeah, like it's Bro. been a lot of like since November. Not nah, since December. It started like. It started around my birthday, December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really what else are the places? Automotion, like automotion started in December. In December, till now it's like February. So really been on the move. Like now, just starting now for. Yeah, we we just start like. So automotion is when you just have that you have, tr um, trades going by itself. Um, so. like as in like um business wise and trading wise, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because December. um the thing is like. I could I couldn't do a lot of things like in twenty the beginning of 2020, 2022 until like October because like you know I was in a relationship you feel me yeah. so like I was just, you know <laughs> so when was I was distracted. single when I was single I was like it's about that time to go outside oh, like you know what I mean? like it's about that time to go like outside, outside boys. so bro like I've been out since November like traveling like yeah. I went on a cruise and then. December, I'm on a cruise again, and then January, you're going to Puerto Rico, yeah. and then February now, I went to Colombia, and we're supposed to go to Cali tomorrow. Yeah. And like, it's, you know, we just have a lot of plans, bro. We just have a lot of plans, like, just watch out for it. But the ceiling, bro, I think it's limitless. Like, I, sure. I really feel like in, what, in the space that we're in is just, the numbers just is just gonna keep going up, obviously, but... Yeah. But, but, but what, at, at what point did you feel did you guys feel a high, like the high the high like the high the I, high, I, the yeah. high of life yeah yeah, well, yeah. Nah, i know when bro okay okay you, you, i don't know, know for me you go first you go first bros on my bd um one of our old mentors hit us up you feel me um we had a bnb &B in like hollywood mm -hmm. yeah. um they're like dang why are you not trying to go out for your birthday i like bro like club and lame now bro like, I just want to have a B&B, &B, uh -huh. have a good time, just chill. Like, ain't no point of, like, throwing, like, a uh, thousand on the bottle, some shit, table. You know, you know, just yeah. dumb, dumb shit. So, <clears throat> Sammy had came over to the crib, our old mentor, and he showed us, like, we was trading, but there was always trading automation that we did not know about, you know, and it was just, like, access to information we didn't have. So, mm -hmm. I always seen automation. I thought it was fake, you know. But then when you put your feet in, like, he was showing us all the accounts that was being managed, all the accounts that was being passed instantly. Mm -hmm. And what he was doing, that really just opened up a bigger space for us, though. Because a mm -hmm. couple months before that, we talked about prop firm management. But I just had to get right as a trader because he couldn't do it by himself. So then I got right. So we was talking about, like, managing multiple funded accounts. 
So then the automation came a month later. So when that happened, like December 4th, and we launched December 12th, that's when I really seen, like, the vision grow bigger for myself, like, about trading, automation, and just entrepreneurship because it just opened doors. Like, we was, like, blocked to, but <laughs> once you realize, like, the information somebody tells you about it, it's not, like, nothing crazy. It's been there. You just never you just knew never about t- it. Yeah, tapped in. Hell, yeah. yeah. Tapped in. And that makes we makes everything more less manual for yeah. you guys, I guess. Yeah, right? like makes I've, everything easier. For that's sure. why, like, I feel like I have so much freedom now because of like the automation too. Yeah. Um, because when I trade, because <clears throat> when I trade, you know, I gotta be there eight thirty to eleven. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After that, I take a break sometimes. If I ain't got a trade, get back from one p.m. to two p.m. You know, not everything, not every time is a winner, obviously. Right. Um, but. You know, it was just that same constant thing. You know what I'm saying? But when we, the automation got introduced to us um, to, like, do it, and I was like, yo, we are about to change the game. Because, like, first of all, not a lot of people can pass a prop firm account. You know what I'm saying? Not Like, most most traders fail. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Fail that. They just keep buying it, buying it, buying it, no results. Wow. You feel me? So when I seen that, I was like, yo, we're taking this, and then we're going to put this in our platform. Yeah. You feel me? And so far, a lot of success has been happening. Um, we actually just launched like a new um, like bot just now. Like that's why we were on a Zoom call at the beginning of this thing. Okay. Uh, it's called Live Account Bot. Um, it's basically like Pam accounts and stuff. Where well, you can just deposit as well as five hundred dollars, yeah. and you make two two point five to five percent daily, sixty percent a month. Yeah. And you can withdraw and deposit anytime. You anytime, want. anytime you want. Um, if you guys. Want to know more about that? Just follow us on the gram. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna give you guys all the proof, all the the statements that it works because it actually works. Like one of the person that actually on a, that was on a Zoom call with like earlier, he would do a hundred thousand dollars ten ten days ago. A hundred thousand dollars ten days ago, like off hands free. Mm-hmm. You ain't gotta do nothing. Just you got like a million account. But um, yeah, <clears throat> all you have to do is make uh, what like monthly deposits or just one time. No, deposit. it's a one time no, deposit. It's a one time deposit. It's you based can, on like how much you want to deposit. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's like compound. Right. It's like a compound interest thing. So you. like you could, you know, you could just leave that same amount there, or you know, you could keep putting in more money mm-hmm. and then do you, that. People tend to put more once they see it works. So right. that's why you yeah. say we could deposit with Johnny time you want, cause mm-hmm. you know people will like sometimes start with five hundred. But then they see their account making money and they could withdraw the profit right there. So, yeah, man, let me down, double down. Cause I had somebody reach out to me about something like that. Because yeah. it takes more capital. Like, the more capital you do have in a trading account, the more. Yeah, money. literally, like, I had, like, yeah. an 18-year-old tapped in, put in five bands. I was like, yo, like, I've never seen an 18-year-old with yeah. five yeah. bands, 10 <laughs> bands, 20 bands. I was like, what are you doing? What He's like, I've been trading, that? my boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he just tapped in. I was like, all right, let's do it. So, um, is it, like, back to the question. What's the question again? You threw oh. me. You threw me. up, you know what I'm saying? Highs, oh, no, high we were talking about the highs. But that, that's a great, yeah, no, yeah, the highs, like the high, the, high. the highest you felt. Okay. You know, you guys talked about the lowest, but now okay. that you know you, so you, you're in this realm. Of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the experience success. of the success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it started like this year, January. Like yeah. when I really like started realizing like what I got in my palm right now, yeah. like I was like, yo. There's no way I'm traveling out of out of country right now like yeah. this. Like it's just back to back to back to oh, back to sure. back. Like there's just no way. And then this month, no, no, this month it's just the high off life. Like right mm. now we're just taking a break. Like yeah. that's why we're like we're not out right now because we're just taking a break. We're kind of like you know we need to rejuvenate. Like, yeah. And what did it for me was like the yacht party that we had. Like oh yeah, like oh, bro, like, yo, I ain't gonna oh, lie, just February God. alone <laughs> we've been on like three yachts. The first yeah. one was with a multi-millionaire. No, 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 no. The first one was the uh, the mega yacht. It's like 110 feet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one was the first that one. That one was the first one, yeah. the mega yacht. And then the second one was with a multi-millionaire on his birthday. Mm. But he said some crazy shit. He did so, say some crazy shit. That boy <laughs> said, it costs 30K to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can't <laughs> breathe. I said, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 30k to breathe is insane. That man why, said, why he say that? He so said, you, you, he that's said, how much it cost him? He had to breathe oh, okay. just to wake up. He said, yeah. every time, the way he made the most money was putting his back against the wall. So if it costs him 30k to breathe right now, he's going to go out and get more money. 
So he told us, like, if you got to take an extra bill, if you got to, like, do something that's going to make you work harder, just do it because it's going to push you to go farther. Facts. Mm. Mm. Damn, that's a gem. That's, that's, yeah. that's a uh, gem yeah. because yeah. I, it's just like. You got to be the right type of dog, man, to, to go through with that, though. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It will make you work harder because when you get put on, on child support, mm -hmm. you go and find that money. You go mm -hmm. and, and make some more money. Now you got to get that cheese, my boy, if you had that kid. Yeah, okay. yeah. So he was like, just put your back against the wall every time if you want to. He said that's that's how he broke new levels every time. Yeah. If he's stuck in some like in a spot, all right, it's time to put my back against the wall, do something that's gonna make me work harder. So that was a great gym that he left with us that that's been sticking with me through just now. And then last week, well, this this no, this week, that was like it was four, it was four days ago. Four days ago, another mentor we have, bro, blew our mind. That boy said, if you're not making 10K a day, it's a bad day. Wow. It's like, all right. And it's crazy because he used yeah. to be a hobo, bro. He used to be a hobo. He's 27. Now we're celebrating his birthday. Yeah. Now he's making 150K a month, bro. Mm. So it's just yeah. like, damn. Like, that's motivation, man. It's motivation, bro. And that's how you, you keep... Uh, breaking new levels, man. Yeah, you surround yeah, yourself with by the right people. The people that, that, that make what you do seem small. So, yeah. so little. And I'm going to be honest, I'm so grateful that I have those type of people around us. Like, no matter how much money I make, they're like my big brothers. Like, yeah. I yeah. always have that respect for those people that has more wisdom than me, more yeah. experience than me. Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm still little, bro. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm 20. Yeah. You feel me? Like I'm not even. I can't even go out in the club. Like <laughs> even though yeah, I do, go, I even though I do, do. <laughs> but <laughs> like legally, I can't. Like you know, what's the reaction me, like with with your parents and or like the people you know oh that, that you? His mom got got us on Instagram. <laughs> his, oh, so my mom got us on Instagram. Um, <laughs> she's been, oh, she's, she's seen them yacht parties. <laughs> she's seen them boats. <laughs> she's she been seen. Uh, she's seen. We had a I had a cruise vlog drop. And then, um, you know, there was some features, cam cameos. And uh -huh. <laughs> uh, next thing you know, I got a little hickey over here. She's seen it. I was like, nah. <laughs> nah, but uh, she, you know, like my parents, um, my mom is very supportive now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm so glad that I'm in a position where I can take care of her. Like, whatever she needs. Like, she's asked me, hey, I need, you know, I just paid the electricity bill. Like, can you help me out? Boom, Apple Pay. So whatever, like I got you. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, it feels very, yeah. very great just to know that I can take care of myself and I can take care of my fam whenever they need to. You yeah, know, yeah. but I'm still in a pro. But you know, I I, I make sure that my my mom understand that like I'm building a foundation for my future family. Like, cause me like myself, I you know I'm a I'm an immigrant. I still got the immigrant mindset when it comes to. You know, family, family yeah. and stuff like the culture is just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I see a lot of de degeneracy out here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, definitely. But, and I'm at a point where I'm like starting to enter that into my life because I ain't gonna lie. Like, I used to see bro make so much money trading, fam, mm -hmm. and I believed it. But it was just like I had a hard time believing it for myself. So when I believed it for myself, that's when everything really started to take place because I did not play with the education. And trading is really just a mindset thing because there's a lot of better traders than us. Like, there's people who probably have more experience than us, probably trade better than us, but we just simplify it, you know? Mm -hmm. It just, trading is very simple. It's really like 30% skill, 70% mindset because you can know little skill. I don't really know much about, I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't know much about the charts. I just know the, sim the simplicity of it so I could really make money. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Trading is very simple. So I'm entering that stage in my life where, I could provide for my mom where I I could give her money, then I could give her money again next week, and then the next week after that. So mm. it's really just like you know, Zoe's too. They don't really believe it, but now she's like, all right, she's being, she's starting to see really the vision now, and she's she's yeah. supporting it more. So yeah, the first I used to travel. Man. Like with, I used to travel, she was like, "Damn, why you traveling?" But now she knows. All right, when I travel, it's more money it's coming insane. back. Yeah, yeah, so that's a beautiful thing. That's that yeah. thing that for me being an um. <clears throat> Being in your shoes, that would that would be the um, the highest elation for me. Yeah, is being able to to 
to know you can help your yeah. family yeah. If, if if need be and obviously mm. like you said to build that foundation for yeah. your for your like, future yeah. family yeah make well. sure like if you ever get to that point where you could like you know obviously help your peoples <clears throat> always let them know like hey like you yeah. can't mud it you can't yeah. mud it, you can't yeah. mud it. I'm here to help, but like I'm, I want a family in the future too. You feel me? <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. want a family in the future too, so I gotta like set myself up so I can like be ready for it when the opportunity comes. Mm-hmm. I gotta be prepared for it. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Same thing with everything. Like you gotta be prepared for it. Like what if you meet the right girl, right? Yeah. The queen, and then you're not ready. You're fucked. You're exactly. fucked. So like that's what it is. So this is how I, um. Yeah, that's how my our parents is right now. They're very supportive. I ain't gonna um, lie, the high for me, bro, been these past three months though. I'm 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 really just trying to get that that high in life right now. Yeah. The past three months for sure. Mm. Well, you yeah, guys complement each other very well. And yeah, I like yeah, the cycle like of it. y'all just keep putting each other on because I because the way the story goes, he put you on to yeah he Forex, put me on first so, uh, yeah, and then yeah. you know you guys yeah, kept he putting the torch yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he carried, carried the, the torch. torch gave it back. And uh, man, that's a that's a solid relationship, and and that's more valuable. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, y'all relationship is more valuable than 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 anything you guys have done so far, man. Because you guys have been through it all together. Yeah, Hell you know? yeah. And I always see the same faces, even bro. Like when I see yeah. the videos, videos, I know you guys yeah. are pretty close. Yeah, we keep uh, the circle tight. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, huh? He said what? I, I was well, yeah. I was there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. One thing, I don't know if people might laugh, but really take it serious when we say this. Like, <laughs> if you set the right intention when you take these, I actually like journal like what you want like to happen. Shrooms, that shit will, bro. Yeah. Shrooms. Oh, ain't no laughing. Ain't that's, no laughing. That's right. Ain't no laughing. I'm gonna be honest. Bro, shrooms, shrooms change our life, bro. We we'll was talking about trading, bro. I swear the automation. We was geeked up on the beach. The minute we started bringing it up, shooting star off shrooms. I oh said, my God, God damn. confirmation. Bro, I started jumping around. Damn, I'm about to be a millionaire. Bro, if you take, because when we take shrooms, we set the intention of like how we want our trip to go too. Mm-hmm. Like we'll write down like um, affirmations too. Yeah. All that. So when we take the trip, you feel me? We think we be knowing what we're gonna expect, but you never, you never, you never know what you're gonna expect off shrooms. Yeah. And that just really just expand our, our our consciousness though. Yeah. Really like it really expand our frequency for sure. Shrooms. Some people be like, I'm scared to take it. I'm going paranoid. Bro, you just taking it with no intention. Like yeah. you just taking yeah. something. Like so. The first <laughs> time we took that, I had like an ego death. Like I had like a really f- big ego death. Like I let go like all the negativity just on my back. It was just, you know, I was caring, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, after that, bro, like, I was just... The first time we took it was at the... Uh, the the Boca Crib. Crib. Yeah, with, like, the two bedrooms. Everybody was crying, though. Most people was crying. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was crying. Like, was I like, was crying because yeah. he was crying. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo, what yeah, is going you know, on? like, so much shit with our people. So yeah. Like, like, damn, like... Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. You guys yeah. are something. Them yeah. boys just yeah. kicked yeah. us out like that. Now we struggling. It is what it is. <laughs> just just yeah. eat it up. Like, you know? But... But yeah, bro. First time I took, it, I was crying. So like, I was crying for like two hours straight. Damn. It released yeah. your yeah. deeper mm-hmm. consciousness. Yeah, I we released it, and then the next day I felt so good. Just I just got yeah. to work. Um, and then over know. the years, we'd be microdosing, go to the beach, cause you know when you go by the water and you take it, you know our body's like 70, 75 percent water. So the, the thoughts from the flow when you by the water, you feel me? So yeah, you can think of great night. ideas when you by the beach. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Early yeah. in the morning at night time. Cause you got the four elements, which yeah. water, earth, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Man, that's that's crazy, that's crazy man. Yeah. We're gonna close out, man. Yeah, I feel like we bro, we, talk all day. it's a lot of game, <laughs> and we didn't even really get into you know as as much game as you know you guys could drop on this podcast. But I think it's a great refresher interview, um, just because of like just the dynamic of where you guys were and where you are now. Mm. It's, it's just it's just you guys are in a different universe, and. Um, I, I love the honesty from both of you. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, you, you can tell um, to get to this point, it was more mental. Mm-hmm. It was more psychological for you guys, just because of uh, the um, the rawness of how you guys view life mm-hmm. and how you explain uh, and how you just express yourself. Mm-hmm. So it's, that's something I, I always appreciate. Even the first interview, you guys always been that way. Um, just keeping it a buck with where you were in life. 
um, mm-hmm. keeping it a buck with, you know, how shrooms kind of play the part yeah. of of your psychology and, and and breaking through different different barriers that way. So, mm-hmm. um, all in all, just, I just always appreciate you guys' honesty, man. That's that's why that's why I love to have on this podcast. Yeah, for sure. It's we'll just be, that that we'll raw be back. self. We'll be back. Oh yeah, yeah. You will we'll, we'll be three. we'll be back, and, and we'll hopefully back. you guys could teach me how to make. A couple thousands in in in, 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 in thirty minutes. No, we got you. But we're bring that on for sure. Hell yeah. Nah, man, yeah. We'll, we'll go through the charts and 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 actually just, you know, you know, like sometimes I just be giving free game to the right. People. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I don't. Hey, look, this is what you gotta do. Like literally, like I was eating out, uh, like yesterday. No, 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 two days ago, um, and pretty much like the chef. He was. He saw my chain. He was like, "Hey, what do you do for a living?" I'm. I'm. I said, "I'm a day trader, and I teach people how to trade, and also automation." He was like, "Yeah, I day trade too, but, you know, I want to learn how to trade." So I just gave him my direct mentor's thing. Yeah. And then boom. Like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell, like, when people is hungry. You, you know can. You can. You could just tell. So you just might as well just. Give Especially them the if game, you've been bro. there. Yeah. yeah Especially like, if you've been there. That's why I even shared the info. I could be really selfish with this shit, yeah. but I can't because, like, I know where I came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, yeah, we know where we came, came from. from man. So, one last thing so we close it out, right? Yeah, yeah, we close it out. Look, bro, um, I just want to tell all the youngest this. Like, no matter what you go through in life, the situation, no matter how heartbroken you are, how mad you are, how depressed you get, wake up in the morning and channel all that energy into something positive. You turn that energy into something positive because... You know, life is short. You know, is it, we can't like as a man, bro. I'm gonna be honest. You can't be depressed. You can't be sad. Just eat it up. Hit the gym. Um, really, just live that healthy lifestyle. Build yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Like a strong body is a strong mind. You know what I'm saying? Learn a skill set. Find a vehicle. Set yourself up. Um, and be careful with these girls. Most definitely. Most definitely. The right girl. Could really benefit you, but the wrong yeah. girl could really mess up your life, my yeah. boy. Yeah. So that's no that's bad. all I really got. That's a, that's a lot of you. guys' kryptonites, man. That's a that's a, a big kryptonite out here. Is that that's, that's a word? Ladies. That's Facts. a word right there, man. Shout out to EJ the Goat Lion, man. Yeah, man. Sir, man. Appreciate you guys all always tuning in, man. Yeah, yeah. Look, I appreciate that. y'all. Yes, sir. Oh, Round man. three about to be crazy, yeah, man. Be crazy. Round three gonna be crazy, man. Yo, changing the youth. Jerry Nevada, the Lux Vlog, man. Happy to have you guys on the podcast. This is some CD friends. Shout out Frank behind the camera. We strive to motivate, inspire young minds so they don't go to waste. Take our time to shine a light that's divine on music that speaks to the soul and art that comes from the heart. We see the bigger picture. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. We stand for something big, the youth, family, making something great out of life because that's worth more than any amount of wealth. It doesn't come with a price. We are city.